Hello and welcome to the first video about my HTC Vive shooter and strategy game. I'm calling this game Surrounded by Bugs, but that's still a working title and it might change at some point. Actually, feel free to send name suggestions if you feel like it. I just started working on this game about two weeks ago, when I first got my Vive, and I'm making it on the amazing Unreal Engine 4. So now I'll hit play and we can start. When you start playing this game for the first time, you get a message in your visor telling you to look at this thing called a data tool to start a tutorial. I prioritize implementing this because most of the VR games I played so far don't have proper tutorials teaching the basics on how to play the game. I still want the player to figure things out by himself, uh, especially for some of the more complex stuff or more complex aspects of the game. But I don't want to I don't want him or her to go blind into battle. So as I can see, I looked at the tool on my left hand, the screen changed to this little friendly face. This guy is called Data2, and he'll be by your side during this game. So let's take a quick break here, because the game won't start until I finish the tutorial. And let's talk about the background of this game and where it comes from. This project is influenced by the Starship Troopers first movie, specifically that sequence where the soldiers are holding a base on the desert planet and the bugs are coming at them from all sides. So on this game, that's what happens. You play as a futuristic soldier, holding one of the border planets from the Ruthless Insectoid army. For that, you will have a nice selection of weapons, and some of them are already in the game. Also, I want to make this clear. Even though there is some sort of reference to Starship Troopers and other universes, this is an original project with its own story, universe, characters, locations, and weapons. Now let's go ahead and follow the steps on screen. This expensive, state-of-the-art piece of equipment is yours for the day. Any damages to this Data 2 unit will be deducted from your family's income. Ok, let's start with the basics. In your other hand, you have a weapon. Let's call that your weapon hand. To shoot your weapon, pull the trigger. Here we go, shoot, shoot, shoot. If you run out of bullets, use the grip buttons to reload. You are also carrying more than one weapon. To switch weapons, reach behind you and click the grip button once. So here I am holding the pistol, reach behind my back, and now I have an automatic rifle. And now, a sniper rifle, with long-range scope and everything. Every time you hit a target, your weapon registers a hit. And using expensive technology, your weapon converts the hit back into energy. Once it has enough energy, it will unlock the ultimate mode. I imagine you are familiar with the word ultimate. When the ultimate is charged, click the thumb button on your weapon hand. This will activate your ultimate. Each weapon has its own special powers. Try them all and have fun. Okay, now that covers your weapons. Now let's talk more about the data tool. There should be some platforms or hotspots around you. You can point your data tool to these hotspots and use the arrows to select an item or structure. Items and structures will help you defend this position. Building items requires crystals. You earn crystals over time or by building crystals extractors. Well, I guess that's all for now. Get ready for the fight and don't let the space bugs bite. As you can see, Data 2 was programmed by someone who enjoys bad jokes. Okay, now that the tutorial has ended, the enemies are going to start to show on the map. It's pretty basic so far, but the plan is to add objectives and more complex stuff as the development progresses. 
Building defenses and managing your resources is where you have to think strategically. There's just a few platforms on which you can build structures or play soldiers, and you, the player, will have to decide for yourself when and where to build them. Most defenses are time-based, which means they will die or go away after a certain time. In the future, I'm thinking of making it so the player can upgrade these structures, thus extending the lifetime of each one of them. I'm only on the second week of development for this project, but keep in mind that I do this on my free time and this is my first game for virtual reality, so there's not much content yet. I am a CG artist by trade and I'm using some original assets that I made for this game, as well as other assets that are from multiple sources, such as the Unreal Engine's marketplace. So that's it for today, I hope you liked what you've seen so far and stay tuned for more info about this project coming very soon. There's a link in the description for the thread on Reddit where we are discussing things about this game. And you can go there and talk directly to me. Alternatively, you can also comment here on YouTube and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.